This video is a quick demonstration of the most basic installation of Sphinx. I'm using Ubuntu, so let's use the PPA. Let's add it here, then we'll update, and then install Sphinx. I'm just doing it on one line. You don't have to. I've already done it, so let's just jump into MySQL and use the testing database and take a look at the example table, which we'll be indexing. It's got an ID, a group ID, and a name. So let's configure Sphinx, but I already have, so let's take a look at the Sphinx configuration. We've got the source section that tells Sphinx where to find the data the index to tell it what to build with that data, set the paths, and then search D to tell it where to listen. It's listening for MySQL protocol on port 9306. Now we can just run indexer on the example index we created. And then we would start up search D to serve searches. But I already have that's how you do it let's not do it now let's open up the command line interface for Sphinx on port 9306 you can tell that it's Sphinx by the server version number which is 223 now let's just fire a simple wildcard search at it see what happens great two documents Let's take a look at this PHP file I created just to see this happening on our browser. You'll see I'm opening a Sphinx connection, a MySQL connection, creating a query, running the query, getting IDs, and then sending those IDs to MySQL so that I can finally display the text content to searching users. let's take a look in the browser the result of that PHP file is this simple great there's much more to do this was the most basic installation but hopefully it shows you how easy it is so go give it a try thanks bye bye